Hello! This video shows how to install and use the Flickrocket WooCommerce plugin. With the Flickrocket WooCommerce plugin, you can use WordPress with WooCommerce to sell DRM protected digital content such as video, ebooks, PDF, audio, software, HTML5 apps, and more. To get started, all you need is a basic WordPress site with WooCommerce installed. To install the plugin, open the WordPress dashboard. And select the plugins at New menu. Now enter Flickrocket under Search Plugins. WordPress will show the Flickrocket plugin. Click Install Now and confirm that you want to install the plugin. Once it is installed, activate it by clicking the Activate Plugin link. The plugin is now installed and can be configured. To do this, select the WooCommerce Settings menu and click the Flickrocker tab. After installing, the login data is pre-populated with the Sandbox account. For this demo, we work with the Sandbox account, but for real use, you need to enter user login data of the Flickrocket account you control. It is best practice to set up a user account which has only the sales management right for this. This way, even if the WooCommerce account gets compromised, your Flickrocket core system is still safe. The theme setting defines the design of the elements which Flickrocket provides. This is primarily the access page for digital content which is displayed to customers after a purchase but also the design of the password reset request validation email originating from the player. Themes can be freely designed inside the Flickrocket admin interface. For our demo here, we'll keep the default theme. Last but not least, we have the environment setting, which can be set to sandbox or live. As the name implies, you would keep it to sandbox while testing and switch to live for a production environment. Please note that everything you do in the sandbox is reset frequently, usually all 24 hours. You can use it to test, but you must not assume that your previous settings will be kept permanently. You can use the sandbox with your real Flickrocket credentials and everything you do in the live environment is synced over to the sandbox environment. However, this syncing may take up to 24 hours. For our example here, we leave it set to Use Flickrocket Sandbox. After all settings are done, click on the Update Settings button. Now we need to set up the digital products. To do this, select the Products at Product menu. First, it is important to understand the different product types. A simple product is a product which has only one associated license. A typical example is an ebook. You can only purchase it. A variable product is a product which has multiple associated licenses. A typical example is a movie which you can rent or purchase permanently. The first product we create is a simple product. First we give it a name. And we add a description. Then we make sure that the product type is set to simple product. It is virtual and it is a Flickrocket product. Don't check the downloadable box because the data and licenses are provided and controlled by Flickrocket. Set the price to zero. And now we have to select the license.
and of course we have to select the product. Below the product selection drop down you see the project wizard and links to the FlickRocket content tools for Windows and Mac OS X. You can use any of these to add new products to FlickRocket. However, for our demo here, we'll use the existing products which come with the Sandbox account which we are using. Now that all is set, we publish the product. and click on Add Product to add the next product. Again, we give it a name. And a description. This time we select Variable Product. And now we need to create the license attribute. We click on Add, give it a name, make it visible on the product page and used for variations. And we enter the names for the licenses we want to offer. Don't forget to click Save Attributes. The next step is to add the variations. We add the first variation, this should be for rental, it is enabled, we make it virtual and we make it flick rocket and we select zero for the price so we don't have to deal with payment settings and we select the license. Once we've done that, we add the next variation. This time we select the permanent license, again we make it virtual and flick rocket, set the price to zero and select the license. Now the only thing which is missing is a project ID which we select in the box below. And now we publish the product. This was all we needed to do. Now we can log out and go to the shop. Our products are displayed. And when we click on Big Buck Bunny, which is a variable product, we can choose from the licenses. In this case, we select Rental and click Add to Cart. Now we go back to the shop and have a look at the simple product Sherlock Holmes. No licenses are displayed and we can just click Add to Cart. Now we click on View Cart and all of our products are added and we proceed to checkout. Now we create a new customer. We review the order and place the order. The order is complete and we can go to My Account to access the content. The content is generally accessed via Flux Player or a customized version of it. The My Account page 
shows instructions how to obtain Flux Player for different platforms such as Windows, Mac OS X, iOS, Android, Kindle or Smart TVs. In this case, we use Windows and so we download Flux Player for Windows. We start the installation. and we install it and we run it. Normally if Flux Player is installed and runs for the first time after an order, it shows the login information and the email address is already pre-populated. However, in case of our sandbox sample here, this is not the case because Flux Player does not know about the sandbox and checks with the live environment instead. And obviously there is no order. So to change this we need to look at the version information of Flux Player and click eight times on version. This dialog comes up in which you can select the sandbox environment. And now Flux Player is configured to use the sandbox environment and we can log in with the email and password we used for the order. and the content we have ordered appears in Flux Player, ready to be consumed. Important! Once you switch to the live environment, don't forget to switch back Flux Player. That's it. You have seen how to install the Flickrocket WooCommerce plugin, how to configure DRM protected digital products, how the order works and how the content is consumed. If you would like to do this yourself, you can apply for a free basic account at Flickrocket today.